Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. Unreal news that's popped out, you know what's funny, I put out the video yesterday, right, and I told you everything in regards to ZS possibly going, uh, the lick, the swap with Timo Werner and all of that, and as soon as I put that video out, literally 10 minutes later, 10 minutes later, we hear what will be the biggest rumour of this transfer window for sure, Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea? We're going to get into it because there's been more development since yesterday, but I'll fill you in and I'll tell you all the latest and my thoughts on it all because I have a certain theory as to where this may go. Anyway, before we get into that, we start off with Arsenal news very quickly because it's, it's relevant and it's important and it's gone down today and that is Gabriel Jesus. Fabrizio has given the here we go and it's to Arsenal. It's not to Chelsea. So we've... Have Chelsea lost a target to Arsenal? Some would say yes. Some would say Chelsea didn't even put a bid in. Chelsea were offered Gabriel Jesus. Remember that. We just didn't act on it. So did we really want him? I don't know. But Arsenal have got their man. Here it is. Gabriel Jesus to Arsenal. Here we go. Personal terms fully agreed with his agent, Marcelo P. Petinati and his two partners. Gabriel signs until 2027. It's 100% done. Arsenal already agreed a £45 million fee with Man City as revealed on Friday. Edu and Arteta. Key for the deal. Got to give credit where it's due here. Arsenal have pulled off who I think will be their main target for the window and they've done it. So Arsenal right now having a good window. You have to be honest. Put your hands up here. Arsenal that... I stressed and I told some Arsenal fans this going into the end of last season. You need to have a good window. If you don't have a good window, you've missed, on, missed out on top four. If you don't have a good window, you are going to suffer next season. They're having a good window. So where are Arsenal going to finish? I still am not convinced about Arteta as a manager in the long term and what he can actually do. I think Arsenal with a top manager can go far. With the tools in that team, as individuals, they have the talent. They're getting the signings. Can Arteta actually take them to that next level? Constant Champions League qualifications, starting to compete for trophies, a possible title race? I don't think so. But you never know. We'll wait and see. That's just my theory. We'll wait and see. But Gabriel Jesus has joined Arsenal. Congrats to him and congrats to Arsenal. Um, let's jump onto the big elephant in the room here. Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea. What? I mean, I heard this and I was like, nah, nah, surely not. As soon as I uploaded yesterday, I'm seeing comments, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, and I'm like, what's happened? Surely not. And then I look, and it's this. It's David Ornstein. Exclusive. Todd Bowley met George Mendes in Portugal last week. Idea of Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea among subjects discussed. Unclear if CFC will pursue... Man United expect him to stay. 37-year-old loves Man United, but has concerns. And that came out via The Athletic. So it's, it's a big, big deal here. It's a massive, massive deal. And what do I think about all of this? I'll tell you what. Let me show you the latest since, since that story came out yesterday, and then I'll give you all my thoughts. So let's get into the times as of this morning. The new Chelsea owner, Todd Bowley, is understood to have discussed the possibility of signing Cristiano Ronaldo after, a me after meeting the player's agent, George Mendes. Ronaldo has one year left on his contract at Man United. And Fabrizio Romano has filled us in with the Ronaldo situation at Man United. And he says this, Man United insist he's not for sale as they want him for next season. Mendes discussing with clubs to explore options. Bayern Munich said no. Cristiano likes Ten Hag but wants to see ambition on the market. This is where my theory comes in here. Do I think Chelsea have actually tried to entertain the discussion? Yes, this is legit. This happened. But I don't necessarily think it's just about Ronaldo. It's Todd Bowley meeting George Mendes. Now, briefly away from the Ronaldo situation for a sec, I will come back to that. I have to say, I'm very impressed with Todd Bowley going straight to someone like George Mendes and trying to build a relationship. George Mendes is the best football agent in world football. Hands down. Hands down. And I think that a conversation like this we know isn't just about Ronaldo, but it's about multiple players that 
is rem that are represented by George Mendes. And Todd Bowley, having taken charge from Marina in terms of the negotiations as the interim sporting director, the current chairman of the club, it's nice to see someone literally go in with all action right now. He's flying to places. I mean, he was in Ibiza talking to Thomas Tuchel about the current plans. Last week, he was with George Mendes. We're hearing him going left and right and centre for all of these things since the Lukaku situation was sorted. For him to get a meeting with George Mendes and to start building that relationship and to start talking about multiple different players is very very interesting when you look at George Mendes and you look at some of the players that he represents it gives you an idea of what Todd Bowley is actually doing let me show you here are some of the lads that George Mendes does represent at player level including Cristiano Ronaldo you see names on the list here top players Ruben Diaz Bernardo Silva Fabinho Cancelo Jota Darwin Nunes Rafael Leao is a very interesting one because I know he's a fan favorite among the Chelsea fan base some of you have mentioned him in my comments in terms of maybe bringing him to Chelsea well boom we're talking with George Mendes not just him you're looking at this entire list and it's quality Portuguese Spanish talent on top of that there's one name here that stands out Ryan Eight Nuri. Eight Nuri, who we have been linked with in terms of a left wing back role, left back role, whichever one, because he can do both. Well, we're talking with Mendes. You know, it's it's a nice move for Todd Bowley to be able to meet up with someone like him and to start building that relationship. George Mendes does have history with Chelsea as well. And yes, that was under Roman Abramovich, but he was the one that helped fa uh, get the deal for Mourinho to come to Chelsea. He was, at that point, getting the players, the Portuguese lot that we got in, Paulo Ferreira, Thiago, Manish. If you remember those players that came in, George Mendes. So there is a history there, and I think George Mendes would be happy to do business with Chelsea. But, Ronaldo... Is that go actually going to happen? I think there's two things here. I think Chelsea will entertain it. You know, you never know. Would I do it? Ronaldo, I'll tell you right now. 37 years old. Third highest goal scorer in the Premier League. Would I do it? Hell yes. He's the only player, I think, in the world that I would look at who's above 33 years old and I'd go, yes, bring him to Chelsea. <laughs> Only Ronaldo. Why? Because he's operating like he's 30. He's in such good physical condition, he doesn't look 37. He's like Thiago Silva, except I think better. Ronaldo, in terms of his fitness, his recovery, is stupid. It's, it's outrageous. All he thinks is his body, his fitness, his recovery. The man never gets injured. The man's always in peak condition. For a terrible Man United season, he finished third highest goal scorer in the Premier League at 36, 37 years old. 18 goals. You imagine all the chances that Lukaku and Werner missed, yeah? And, you know, respect to Werner, he's a nice guy. Lukaku, as far as I'm concerned, don't care about. But if you put Ronaldo in those situations, I guarantee you he would have probably ended up with 25 or 30 a season. The man does not miss. And in terms of a short-term solution, if there aren't any strikers in the market, I'd do it. Would he cost an outrageous amount of money? I don't think so. Would his salary be a problem? Yes and no. Yes, as in it's high, but I think everyone understands. Yo, that's Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you have Do you have one Ballon d'Or, let alone four <laughs> or five? He's got four. I think Messi has five. Ronaldo four. Do you have how many five Champions Leagues? Do you have that? You know, th there's a certain level of understanding even within the squad that they can go. Okay, now you know it's flipping Ronaldo. <laughs> he can't compete. You know, so I would entertain it. But do I think this story is actually legit? And Chelsea are going to go in for Ronaldo? I don't think so. I think there's a part to play here. George Mendes is, on behalf of Cristiano Ronaldo, getting Man United to start doing some business. Clearly, Ronaldo's not happy with the way that Man United have been operating this transfer window. He's um, clearly frustrated at the lack of business. We know Ronaldo's a winner. His mentality is always just winning, winning, winning. Be the best, be the best, winning. And even in that terrible Man United season, as I already mentioned, look at what he did. Can you imagine if he actually had players around him, even at that age? You know, and that is what he wants. He wants the ambition. Man United are not showing any whatsoever. You only hear them in terms of one transfer that they're obsessed with and that's De Jong from Barcelona we don't even know that's going to happen you know so Ronaldo frustrated gets his agent to move start conversations talk with Todd Bowley boom rumor comes out Man United are panicking Man United apparently were furious after the news came out yesterday and have insisted he's not for sale but if Ronaldo really wants to go he'll go and United know that so maybe it's Ronaldo forcing Man United's hand 
It could be. And that's what I think it is. But if there is a chance Ronaldo leaves, I think Chelsea are probably first in line. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. In other news, let's talk about two more players here. Raheem Sterling. We've got the latest in Raheem. And see, I told you, Chelsea are moving. Chelsea are moving now. Since Lukaku left, since Marina and Bruce have gone, since Todd Bowley's taken charge, since the board has restructured, now we are actually doing business. And Fabrizio confirms this. Chelsea will submit a new proposal for Raheem Sterling as they're already working on it. Tuchel wants him and personal terms have already been discussed. Negotiations with City were led by Marina Granovskaya, so he's now left the club. Bowley is preparing the new bid. So there we are. And as I've said, just like I said, was it yesterday or the day before? I think Sterling will be joining Chelsea. And no, I don't think it's going to be for 60 million. In the same way that Gabriel Jesus managed to leave for 45, I think it's going to cost around that sort of price to get Raheem Sterling. If not, he's going to sit at City, not really be in the squad or the starting 11, sitting on a one year deal left on his, on his contract going to run that down and become a free agent. I think City would rather take the money. So I think Sterling will end up joining Chelsea. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Um, and in regards to one more name that's popped up, this I don't think is happening. And I've already told you this, but I'll give you the latest because it's relevant football news. And this is Eunice Talks Football. So I will, I will mention it. So here we go. This is about Neymar. Neymar is now considering a PSG departure, having been open to leaving in the last few days. With Neymar, as reported by RMC Sports, only Chelsea, Manchester United and New Newcastle United have the capacity to make a deal happen with PSG this summer. That's problematic as Neymar has historically vowed never to go to the Premier League. Might his stance change this summer? It might have to. But do I see Chelsea actually doing this? No. Um, his salary is a problem. Let's just have this right. I even think there's a chance he just stays at PSG. I think they'll probably work it out. But in terms of where he can actually go, it's true. If he actually wants to go, he's going to have to take a wage cut. There's no other way. There's no team that can afford what PSG are operating uh, right now in, in his current deal. Man City are not going to go in for him. Newcastle, you'd think, can afford it, but they're not stupid. And they're operating at a very nice, constant manner. I mean, they just signed Nick Pope. They're getting Botman. Some decent deals, but they're progressing slowly. They're not They're not getting too excited. And that's the right way to go. Man United, definitely not going to pay that salary. Chelsea, I don't think going to pay that salary. So Neymar's going to have to either stay at PSG or take a hit. One of them. And right now, there's nowhere else in Europe that can afford him. So Neymar, bit of an issue. This is why it's an issue getting players on high wages. Because sometimes if they don't work, you can't offload them. Hence Lukaku. We've suffered from that. This is the problem. Also, um, in relation to teams that can't afford things, just to end the video, Werner to Juventus is a little bit of an issue because apparently Juventus and all Serie A clubs can't afford high wages because of a cap that's, that's now operating in Serie A. The financial issues operating in Serie A, those Italian teams can't afford giving high wages. So again, if Werner's happy to take a hit, to take a hit and to take a wage cut... He ain't going to Juventus. And that means if we want Delict, we're going to have to go straight cash. And I don't think we're going to do that. So, yeah. We'll see, though. Anything can change. Anything can happen. I'll keep you posted on all what's going on and give you my thoughts on it. But there we are. That concludes today's video. I hope all of you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear in regards to Jesus to Arsenal for first uh, instances. And on top of that, Ronaldo to Chelsea. Ronaldo leaving Man United. They don't want to let him go. Mendes, all of that that I mentioned, give me your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear it. And on top of that, Sterling, things are going to start happening. We're going to make a bid. And Neymar, do you see him going or do you see him staying? Let me know. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed this. Double upload coming tomorrow. Reddit video and the latest on the transfer window and my opinions on it. I will see all of you then. So have a good one. See you tomorrow, people. Take care and peace.